Paterno, the name defines Penn State football. Joe Paterno has won nearly 400 games in his 45 years as head coach. But the Nittany Lions legend isn't the only Paterno leading athletes in Happy Valley. I stay involved and get more involved with Special Olympics all the time because I believe in it. Joe's wife, Sue, has been an active board member of the Pennsylvania Special Olympics since 1991. She recruits volunteers, raises money and awareness, chairs the summer games, and serves as a mentor and friend to the athletes. But the act of giving from the Paterno family dates back more than 50 years. When I went to Penn State, I was an English lit major, and which meant I spent a lot of time in the library. I was also dating a freshman football player from home. Joe happened to be the mentor for study hall for the football team, and he told me to make sure the kid kept studying. And that's where we met, in the library at the study hall area for the football players. Joe and Sue were married in the spring of 1962. Over the years, they've given generously to the university and they recently helped raise nearly $13.5 million for the expansion of the library where they first met. But their support of the Special Olympics stems from a personal experience. In 1977, our third child, our oldest son, had a trampoline accident at school. He fractured his skull and after being in a coma for over a week, he was supposed to have a lot of problems none of which occurred. It took us about a year to get him back where he was, but that happened. But during that year, I learned that a child with special needs of any kind requires a lot of time and attention and a lot of direction. That spring, Sue signed up as a volunteer for the Special Olympics. My parents always made it clear that there was always something you could do for someone else, that your needs were not as important as others. Penn State has been the home of the Pennsylvania Special Olympics Summer Games for 23 years. More than 2,000 athletes and 750 coaches from across the state make the pilgrimage every year, competing in nine different sports ranging from softball to golf to equestrian. Being in Special Olympics gives me more confidence in myself. I compete in volleyball, tennis, basketball. I competed in softball in the summer. I am a global messenger. It's when you go out and recruit other athletes throughout the entire state to compete in Special Olympics. My name is Matt Croson, and I am proud to be a Special Olympics athlete. Mrs. Paternal doesn't like to speak after me because she thinks I'm a good speaker, a lot better than her. I think people in the past had a misconception about people with mental challenges. Now when they see what our athletes can do and how they can live productive lives, then they are more understanding with people with other mental challenges. She's very passionate about it and her passion for Special Olympics is very contagious. I don't know if you can ever put a date or a moment in time where you have a special relationship with another person. I get a lot of love a lot of fulfillment, working with our athletes. Special Olympics oath is, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. I've never thought of what I want to leave, but I do believe Special Olympics is gonna be a big part of this whole community, as it is now.